Oh, come on then, you pathetic little worm. Look at the state of this guy's account. Easy, easy escape, you loser. I'm sorry, what? Ah! Oh! You punched me because I'm gay? I didn't punch him because he's gay. I punched him, and then he's happened to turn out to be gay afterward. Welcome back to another episode of Cannabis Chunk, a series where I need to achieve these goals within only this chunk, a challenge that has taken so long that we are soon to be a billionaire. Billions, with a B. On the toughest game mode that there is, Extreme One Chunk Iron Man. I'm actually really excited for this chunk, to be honest. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome back to Cannabis Chunk. If you've enjoyed the channel lately, then a subscription would be massively appreciated. I'm on the road to 30,000 subscribers, and it wouldn't be possible without all of you lovely people showing your support. Please subscribe, and thank you. It is the first, first clip in episode 20 of the series, and we're not in the Revenant Caves, because we're getting 7, uh, not 70, first clip, and I've already f messed it up. Uh, I'm trying not to swear as much either. I listened to the last one and my god, potty mouth. Risking the avarice. Let's give it a go. See how we get on. We got three of them. What's the harm if we lose one? Um, I need to hop to the world that my alt is in though. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, give this a go. Should be about 240 kills per hour. So using the avarice is definitely the best chance we have at rolling uniques because the kills per hour is just so quick. Ooh, this guy does have the agility level, which is not good. Uh, he is only a pure, so I'm not particularly scared of him. But if he's just good on the obstacle, we might be in a bit of trouble. I just clicked to fucking jump across there, you fucking cock. Uh, God, I'll try it. Okay, I'm playing quite badly right now. Let's... Let... Okay. So is he, though, so... At least have that right. Tend to jump, see how that goes. <laughs> there is nothing more satisfying than doing that. Okay, we got the log. <laughs> see ya, bitch. Oh my god, I just logged straight back in on this guy as if he knew I'd log back in. Are you actually joking me? No, this is so not good. Oh my god, this is such an L. Oh, I'm not even protecting an item. Oh my god. Oh god, this is not good. This is not good news. I'm nearly out of food as well. Oh god, this is not going well. Oh my god. Oh, this is so lucky if I get this. Oh god! As if, how did he know? How did he know? Okay, we've actually hopped worlds to run away. So let's see if he just hops straight into 336. That would be pretty unlucky if he did. Okay, looks like we'll be alright. God. That was the single most stressful thing that's ever happened. I'm so lucky I got that second log, my god. Oh, that would have been such a good kill for him as well. So, not only did I have the Avarice, which is like 700k, I had like a lot of ether in my bow and bracelet, like 900, so that's another 300k. And then look at the looting bag, 2.1 mil. 
<laughs> that would have been like a three mil PK for him. I'm literally so lucky that he that he let me get gap there in the end. I don't even know how that happened. I think. Oh my god. <laughs> the voider with the dark bow. What is going on? Okay, we got away with it. We got away with it. Oh god. That was just so unnecessarily nerve wracking. My god. Oops. Like, look at the state of that. Right, I'm about to hop off for the day. Let's have a little look at what the uh, bank value is looking like. Have we breached 900 mil? Yes, we have. 905 mil. Absolutely massive. When I'm grinding the revenants, especially when the kids aren't here, I usually eat terribly. But that's not at all the case when I use today's video sponsor, Factor 75. When I'm home alone and want to eat quickly, I usually have two options. Depressing supermarket ready meals that taste like eating warmed up cardboard. Ugh. Brother, ugh. Or getting a takeaway. A habit that becomes extortionate quickly. I've got nothing left. I've got nothing left. Factor solves both these issues, providing you with a restaurant quality meal in just two minutes and at a fraction of the cost of a takeaway, so it fits into your lifestyle easily and saves your pocket. Their food is nutritious and approved by dietitians, so no more feeling like you're just shoveling unhealthy garbage into your body on a whim. You're eating with purpose, and on top of that, it tastes amazing too. Get 50% off your first factor box and free wellness shots for life when using my link. That means you can choose two free wellness shots from three available flavours for every order while you're an active subscriber. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Some pretty cool milestones in the loot, uh, in the loot tab at the moment, which is over 50,000 coal. That's pretty cool. Uh, and over 7,000 mahogany planks. That's like a million construction XP one day. Like, that's, that's crazy. Um, just got over 800 in these two stacks as well. The 900 room plate legs, we are one off. That's going to be absolutely biblical one day. And we just hit 400 dragon long swords as well. 2300 bracelets of Ethereum. Nuts. Um, and yeah, well over 809 mil now. If we chuck in the crossbow, oh, that must be less than 1 mil until 900 mil. Wow. We'll almost certainly hit a one bill bank value this video. And coming in here is level 86 for Letching. Absolutely nothing unlocked, but only one level to go. So, so exciting. Right, it's pretty early in the morning. Um, so I'm deciding that... Okay, this is not good news. Oh, God. Please just be a fan and not kill me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't let them say being a YouTuber does not have perks. It absolutely has perks. <laughs> oh, this level 49 just got an ancient medallion. If only he was like five combat levels higher, I definitely would have gotten him and tried to kill him. Oh, that's so annoying. And this is why the Avarice is just so nice. Look at that looting bag. What's the value on that? 2.2 mil. I mean, eight dragon longswords alone. That's just nuts. It's so nice being able to just stack items, like 15 bracelets of Ethereum from one trip. Like, that's just crazy. Right, here it is then. Another level chunk task ticked off. 87 Fletching, you can now fletch magic shields. That's the highest tier fletching goal we can have in this chunk. Let's just create one. There we go. Bing, bang, boo. Huge. And we just need to equip that. There we go. Does that have any decent stats on it? Uh, it's not too bad, actually. That might be one of our better shields. I don't think it's our best one, but it's one of our better ones. Look at that bad boy. That is completely done. Right, so now all we need to do is get the Vigorous Chain Mace and 60 Defense. But aside from that, we're nearly done with this chunk that we've been in for 43 days game time. 
I don't know if I'm just imagining things or it's a fair play to Jagex, but there seems to be a lot less bots. I mean, this is a Monday morning, so it's been four or five days since they could have logged online. And there's really not too many. Like, no one's really logging in. I've not even got the out logged in at the moment. And, yeah, seems like it's slightly better. Don't know if that's just me, you know, being unfairly nice to them, or they've actually done a good job. Well, well, I guess there goes the avarice as quickly as, as that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wasn't too, too good. good. Right, I decided to uh, yoink myself a little amulet of avarice for a bit as well, see if we can uh, get any luck. It seemed to bring some luck in the last video, to be honest, using it. So, yeah, I'm quite excited to get stuck in. It's just so much nicer to use than not. The noted drops, the massive hits, it's just so, so nice. Just look at all the manta ray I can I can bag with the uh, Avarice. 53 manta ray. Normally they'd all just be, you know, fading away on the floor. But 53, that's crazy. Well, I guess there goes the Avarice as quickly as that. <laughs> oh, that wasn't too good. Not, I don't really see what much more I could have done there other than just be quicker on the protect melee. Um, I probably wouldn't have escaped that guy anyway, seeing as he had the agility level. Uh, annoying losing an avarice though, I must say. Oh, it's even worse because he's a fan. <laughs> it's that same PK and he's like, oh, sorry, I love the series. He's the guy that killed me for my avarice. <laughs> oh, no, that's so sad making. Oh, well, <laughs> can't be helped. Oh, and here we are. Just more PK. It's the American Worlds, man. Why am I in... It's like... <laughs> Why am I in American Worlds? Like, come on. They're just... All they do is PK. They can't help themselves. They absolutely love it. Oh, we might be lucky and get away with this one. Oh, my God. As if. How's he got that around that corner? Fucking hell, leave me alone. I don't know how this scenario has happened, but the PK who PK'd me for my avarice and the PK who just killed me, both somehow fans, are now having a fight and I'm praying that the Louvre guy wins for some reason, even though that guy stole my avarice. So uh, we'll, 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 keep, we'll keep up to date with this one. Looks like this guy's going to get the teleport though, which is just incredibly bleak. So it looks like... Ah, oh, sad times, <laughs> sad times. I saw that so far out of my peripheral vision that I, uh, that I genuinely thought it was something good. <laughs> oh, I guess one meal is pretty decent. I'll be thankful for it one day. Oh, there is 94 hit points and I missed it as always. I feel like hit points ones are the hardest ones to remember to get. Um, only five levels until 99. I could, I think I can roll the 99 hit points cape from where I am at the moment as like my next chunk. That wouldn't be too bad these days. Like that's obviously like a crazy grind once upon a time. But now, only 5 mil XP to go, reasonable training methods as well. I don't think it'd be that bad. Like, especially because at the point I rolled it, I'd have the Vigorous Chain Maze. And I'd have incentive to like get my attack and strength up. So like finishing off that last 5 mil by getting some decent melees really wouldn't be too bad would it so yeah that's quite nice really actually getting those hit points levels really far up there huge shout out to the boy unka chunka for being the first person in a long time to um get me a bond which is very nice i've got some uh, additional membership now i believe yeah 24 days very good because i used to get like actually quite a lot of people give me bonds and stuff i had like up to 100 days game time and then I've just been in the wilderness with my private off because, um, well, obvious reasons. PKs add you and just chase you around the world. So I've actually had to been buying my own membership. Oh, boo-hoo me. Um, but Uncle Chunker has uh, just bought me some, which is very, very nice of him. Thank you. I've never seen that before. Two sets of Dragon Long Swords from two uh, Revenants in a row. Can we get a third set of Dragon Long Swords? The RNG on that would probably be absolutely biblical. No, of course.
Oh, two mil emblem alongside the looting bag that we just lost to PK. So that's pretty nice. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, oh, I don't even know what I'm hoping for these days. Just, I just, I just don't want to die much, and I want to get the mace soon. That's pretty much it. Oh, this doesn't look like a very fun one. Uh, 75 agility plus plus some decent gear. I don't know why he's got a dragon scimitar on him, but we might get away with this. Maybe he misses the freeze. Yep, yeah, not quick enough on his clicks. See ya, boy. What? What is that recently? Normally I get away there. Oh, God, this is bleak. Uh, I'm running quite low on prayer parts as well. Ugh, so grim, so grim. I had two, like, really good opportunities there and just fucked them both up. Didn't get lucky when I needed to. No, no chance. Just need to make sure I don't get smited. Ah! Fucking cunts. Oh, a nice little 8 mil emblem. I guess we take those. Not too bad, is it? At least it's decent GP. Straight after we just got PK'd by that guy, so at least there's that. <laughs> at least even if we lost all that Revenant Ether. We got 8 million cash, so I guess we'll take that. Oh, another little 1 mil emblem. I think, I think I've got a full invent of those. And if I do, that's going to look pretty cool. Look at this madness. 29 ancient totems. Literally a full invent of ancient totems that is absolutely crazy crazy it's crazy how dry we are hopefully for not much longer i guess that uh technically counts as a unique so worth recording i think i might be up to 30 of those now pretty cool not that i'll ever need 30 not that i'll ever need one i need kelder grim so that i can actually build the thing made out of these so yeah entirely useless it's a decent time of day, and I kind of fancied using the Avarice, so let's see if we can uh, get far with it. Uh, starting at 61,500-ish KC. Let's see how far we get. Hopefully I get so far that it gets to a bad time of day, and I decide to just chuck it in the bank because I don't want to risk it at a bad time of day. Hopefully I don't lose it within like 20 kills, because that would be depressing. Well, I guess at least it uh, brought us some luck and an 8 mil emblem pretty early on. Uh, you know, I I don't really need the money now, but it's nice to get. And if we're going to get emblems, at least get the high value ones. So that's pretty cool. Let's go check that in the bank. I just escaped from this guy and then he like legged it and then just like stayed in the world to try and get me. Why are they so desperate recently? Really winds me up. Luckily, he's quite bad. So I've, I'm going to have a lot of time to try and get away. But... There's no guarantees. Mm, this isn't going well. Defo gonna lose the avarice. Can hell they wind me up? Why do you just like, he stayed in the same one for about five minutes? I swear. Don't get around the corner. Get around the corner. Oh, don't think I'll get gap round here. Might get away with it. Oh, chest is beating. I oh god, I can't believe he stayed in the same world to get me. Oh, that is infuriating. Oh, you love to see a little count check every now and then, don't you? Let's chuck this on to Slayer, and that puts us up to level 28. Very nice. Looks like we're probably going to need four lamps per level now, which isn't too bad. But, uh, yeah, that's going to slow down progress just a little bit. But 28 Slayer, not too bad. We need to get 45 for the Infernal Mages in the Slayer Tower. Oh, can we get away? Probably not. High level with the agility. Let's see how we do. Oh no, I meant to fakey that. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. Ugh. Need to make sure not to get smited here. Looks like I'll probably run out of food beforehand though, so it should be good. 
Oh my god, stop maxing me. Fucking hell. Oh, I thought I might have been able to fake him there. Oh, that's sad. Oh, gutted. I absolutely love me a fat ass looting bag. Look at that. Three pairs of dragon plate legs in there. Load of rune stuff. 1.1 mil without the avarice. Those are the kind of trips I love. Yet more ancient crystals. You cannot go wrong with ancient crystals. Let's grab that and not go to the bank because we don't give a fuck if we lose it. Oh, virtual level 105 range. One level to go until we are officially double level 99. 2.4 mil XP to go. Crazy, crazy stuff. Right, let's just have... I've, I've not looked at this ahead of time, so I don't know what the value on this is going to be. Let's just have a look how much we have in pure cash from literally the emblem. So this is what I could turn into cash in the next five minutes if I wanted to. 200, and let's round that up to 264 mil. That is mental, especially considering I have 26 mil there anyway. So I have 290 mil in pure, pure cash. And then in stuff that I could alk relatively easily, we're talking... I mean, that's the only real stuff you'd alk without processing it at all, right? So 290 mil plus an additional 212 mil. So that is 500 million GP in literally just, like, cash that I could just turn into coins relatively quickly. That is crazy. So, you know, those would take a few minutes. Those would take, you know, probably four, five, six hours. So within a day, I could have a cash stack of 500 million coins. <laughs> that is mental. Oh, another amulet of avarice. No. I might just grab it and equip it. Why not? Oh, God. At least that replaces the one that I lost earlier in the video. Oh, that's infuriating, though. I just, every single time I get any unique, it's like, please, the mace, the mace. That is unique number 20. So, bear in mind, the mace, per unique, the mace is one in five. So, you know, four times the rate, realistically, is where we're at now. Come on, please. You see, and this is why we absolutely love to use the Amulet of Avarice, and it's so sad when we uh, when we lose them. Look at that. 2.1 mil in the bag. So nice. So, so nice. Right. It's a decent time of day, so we're going to risk ourselves an Avarice again. We've got three at the moment, so I don't feel too bad losing one if I do. Hopefully, we can get the mace before we lose any, because they're just quite nice to have. Um, having numerous what is effectively a glory in the bank will be just useful in future, I think. Oh, we take the one mil totems, I guess. Not too bad. It all adds to the bank value in the end. I think I've got over well over 30 of those in the bank now. <sighs> Hopefully something more interesting soon. Okay, here we go. Is that a Void Waker? Yes. Okay, don't get smited. Okay, right. Better. Right. Okay, he's 77 agility, so... He's 111 combat, so I can't run, so I basically have to fool him. Um, why can't I move? Okay, right. Okay, at least I'm frozen on the right side of the shortcut. So, why is he not... What the hell? I probably could have got away. It looked like he froze for a second. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Right, log out on the out as well. Okay, we got the gap. Huge for us. Huge. I always, always love that over 2 mil in the looting bag. 76 Manta Ray in there as well is absolutely massive.
Love that. This PK keeps getting on me, right, called Calvin Doe. And he's 89 agility, but for some reason will not follow me over the shortcut. I don't know if he's using a bought account, he's a bot and doesn't know he's 89 agility. Very, very odd, I must say. Very strange. Go on then, let's get the, let's get the stale baguette. Sad. Triangle sandwich. No one cares. It would be quite funny if I got the stale baguette and then like didn't get the chain mace. I feel like it would be quite funny to uh, title a video like getting the rarest item available in my chunks and then it's actually just the stale baguette and not the chain mace. I feel like people would probably be quite angry with me if I did that. <laughs> oh no! The PK that I killed and, and then like lied saying come to Edgefield to get your stuff. Just joined the clan chat. <laughs> Said he stayed in Edge for 30 minutes. <laughs> Unlucky. I'll teach you for PK. Oh, unbelievable scenes. Okay, luckily we have a PK, but it's not one that's going to bother us at all. Oh, he says very confidently. Uh, way too many uh, uh, Karambwans at the moment. That is hurting me, right? Luckily, no agility level on this guy, so we're all good. We are poisoned, though, so maybe I'll just go to the bank for that. Doesn't seem worth staying, I don't think. I don't think. Would really rather not lose the avarice to some absolute noob. <laughs> that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? I said fuck it and just going to decide to out-eat the poison. Luckily it was poison or venom. Venom is just pure pain, but uh, poison, especially with these super fast kills, I can actually out-eat quite easily because they drop enough food that I can fill up my invent and just keep eating. 24 mil range XP, 11 mil XP, past 99. Bearing in mind we started this chunk with level 30 range. So we've got basically 24 million range XP just in this chunk. That is, uh, what, one-eighth of the way to 200 mil. Imagine if I get 200 mil range. I mean, surely, surely I get a mace before then. But we've gone 25 mil XP, so, you know, what's another 25 mil? Um, hopefully, you know, something like, if I can get it before 30, I'll be very fucking happy with that. Okay, I haven't looked in this looting bag, but I've got a feeling it is a pretty juicy one. Let's have a look. 2.8 mil! Oh, that's crazy. What's, what's, what is giving all that value? I guess the dragon skirts. Oh, the bracelets. That's a lot of it. 752k just in the bracelets. That is nuts. That is why having the avarice is just so nice. It's faster kills. It's way chiller. You can stack up the loot like that. So, so nice. Don't know why there's no PKs at the moment. I mean, now I've said that, I'm sure the next cliff is going to be me getting PK'd for my avarice. But while we're not here, we're really appreciating it. And to be honest, I've got like, what, five, six, seven, eight really good trips out of this avarice. So I'm probably due to lose it. And when I do, I probably won't be that annoyed. Although I say that now, I probably will be fucking annoyed. Okay, right. Newbie-ish gear. But he does have the agility level, so this won't be straightforward. He's a crap combat level which means he can quite easily uh you know stay with us so i can't run away either just gotta hope that i can juke him out somehow across here okay right they're kind of going as planned thus far oh, he's kind of wrecking me though uh right what's the plan here I'm back, surely. No, didn't bother going. Damn it. Okay, not going particularly well, I must say. Right, what's the plan then? Same again. Might have got that. Oh, fuck! Oh, I really don't want to lose this avarice to fucking noob like this, honestly. My god, he just keeps hitting, like, hitting me really fucking hard. I'm 
Might have got gap there. No! No! Oh, that's so bleak. So nearly had the gap. Uh, okay, what can we do? I don't think there's much we can do. Only option's a shortcut. Nah, we're fucked. See if I can fake bribe him. Splash that. Okay, right, we got realistically one more shot here. Okay. Should we go for the fake? Fuck sake. I told you the next clip we've been losing the fucking avarice, didn't I? <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. <sighs> I don't really see anything else I could have done there. Kind of did as best I could, and I was like one tile away twice. He was just slightly too quick for me. <sighs> Not much I can do. Oh, well. Oh, the fourth one of these today. Literally, what is going on? For some reason, these are just the... <laughs> subscribe, yeah. Okay, good job. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, please. <laughs> can't get enough of these things and can't get enough subscribers either. Hey Oh the pink text just gets you every time. There's no getting oh god. It's the one that really trolls me as well because I know that the uh Vigora's Mace will be around that sort of value on the ground, so the four mil just always trolls me. Nice to have four mil though, better than nothing. Let's uh Let's grab that. Let's make sure it doesn't go in the looting bag. It looks better. Uh, and let's pick up all this food, seeing as we're going to the bank anyway. Oh, he's caught me on low food and possibly in the most stacked gear setup that I've ever seen. <laughs> or at least that I've ever seen attack me. Like, come on, what am I supposed to do against this? Like, really? My only chance is to, like, juke him or double cross him, but I just think he's probably going to damage me too much before then. It doesn't seem very good, I'll tell you what, if I was a PK, I would be coming into the rev caves and killing this guy badly. Oh my god, as if he did that, ugh. His switches are so slow though. Oh! No, no, as if, as if he chucked that! Oh, if he just crossed instead of chucking that, I'd have been gone. Oh, that's so infuriating. How much have I got in there? Can I destroy this? As if it doesn't let me destroy it. That's so annoying. Fuck's sake, not much I could do in that scenario. Interesting little milestone that I just noticed that we have. 2,500 bracelets, which uh, changes into 625,000 ether which I'm pretty sure is 625,000 shots of a crossbow, swings of the mace, or shots of a Thamarin Scepter. So that's pretty crazy. We also have our dupe weapons. So assuming I broke down seven of these, that would be over 50,000 ether as well. So safe to say, I think we're, we're, uh, we're fine on ether for a while. I mean, I'm sure one day I will run out, which is kind of mind boggling to think about. But that's pretty wild. We also just hit 200 magic seeds, which is, you know, well over two and a half million farming XP one day. So one day I'm sure that will be huge for me, not today. But yeah, just look at the loot tab. That's a joke, isn't it? Oh, we take the two mil emblems, don't we? They're pretty nice. Not as nice as the red pink text ones. We love the like red pink text ones. They are, you know, a boon. But the uh, orange text of the ancient statue is pretty nice, isn't it? What's in the looting bag? Oh, the looting bag's full, so it's basically the end of a trip anyway. What a day. <laughs> oh, the mace will come soon. Don't worry, don't worry. It's kind of been assumed for quite a while that quads is the best place for me to kill the revenants, kind of by me and, and probably by most people. Um, but I thought I'd try out the knights because it's a spot I haven't tried. And now that I'm 99 range, I can actually kill these things relatively effectively with the crossbow. 
So I feel like it might be worth giving them a go, seeing how we get on. I use a lot more food. Um, level 126s can attack me. I'm further from a shortcut, so they might not work out. But I'm going to do a little test and just see what the kills per hour is like versus the drop rate. And see if, at least in theory, if it's worth it. Because if it's not, we can rule it out. But if it is, then we can see if we can make it less likely that I die to PKs and that kind of thing. So let's check it out. I mean, I know that the, the drop, like the average drop per Revenant from the Revenant Knights is 38k. Whereas from the um, Demons, it's 26. So it could be quite good for us if the kills per hour is quite high. Right, so we're at 64,108 kills with seven and a half minutes on the timer. So we'll give it six or ten minutes, something like that, and see how many kills we got. Okay, short answer, not worth it. I was getting about 80 to 90 kills per hour, which is decent, and it's probably my second best method. Um, but the fact that I get like 160 to 180 kills per hour here... Uh, just makes it so much more worth it like the drop rate would have to be twice as good at the nights and it just isn't it would have to be like a one in 1.8k and it's a one in 2.9 whereas this is a one in 3.6 so i think this is going to have to be what we stick with this is definitely the most rolls per hour um just the fact they're so low defense and the fact the demons are so um low hit points 80 hit points on those, it's just crazy. Just means the kills per hour here is just berserk in comparison. I think my chances of escaping this fella are quite low. Some, even though Void is free, something about the Void just comes across as people that know how to PK. <laughs> and I just very rarely escape from these guys. Uh, just make sure we don't get smited, that's the main thing. Fucking hell, he's... Yeah, I just... Oh, fucking hell, this is terrible. <laughs> oh, God. You see, that last world, right, uh, was a US world. This world... I mean, sorry, that last world was a UK world, right? Very good, very competent PK killing me. Proper gear, you know, risking a decent amount, killing me quite well. This guy, we're back on the US worlds, and the US PKs are numerous, but they are shit. Uh, so, yeah, quite happy to be back on the old US world because exactly this happens all the time. <laughs> they are very annoying, but they are very incompetent. Three minutes logged in, there he is, wasting both of our times. So you love to see it. Oh, I'm so sad. I just died because I wasn't paying enough attention, but I'm now completely out of black dehyde, so that means we have to go back back to Calafis and start cashing in some of this black dehyde and create ourselves some more black dehyde bodies and legs oh that's a really tedious thing to have to go and do the other day oh well let's go right we're looking at a way more juiced 44 full sets surely surely that's going to be enough to get us the mace bought enough boots to uh, equate for that as well 44 across the load and we already have easily enough capes so we should should not have to come here again before we get the mace. Hopefully. Please. God, please. It's so incredibly tragic that every single time I get some kind of statuette, the clan chat is like, nice mace. <laughs> <laughs> like, why have I become that guy that is a meme? It's just not fair, is it? The fact those two bots just ran around there has me slightly worried they're getting chased by a PK of some kind. I've not seen many bots. Those are the first two I've seen in a while. Let's uh, let's actually just check if they are bots. What world are we on? 36. Let's uh, log in on the other account and see if this guy runs away or not. I reckon he will. I feel like I recognise that name. Uh, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> it's as easy as that. Looks like the bots are back there. Or is he just looting my stuff? Oh, he's just looting my black dehyde. Okay, maybe he's not a bot then. Interesting. Let's see what happens if I spec him. Go on. Die. I doubt he'll die. He might run away there. He's actually fighting me back. Well, that's no good. Hopefully he just doesn't eat. Uh, I think he is. That's very interesting. Okay. I don't know if that's interesting for you. Certainly interesting for me. 
Oh, and a nice little lamp just to make up for it. Why not? We take those. Are we going to get a level? No, we're not going to get a level, but we will be using that on Slayer. Oh, we love to see the one mil totems, don't we? I really thought he was going to tag me for a second, <laughs> but luckily he did not. I may kill this demon as well, just because I feel like it's efficient for me to kill the demons, like whenever they're there. Uh, so I'll kill this little fella. Get that over with. Hopefully get something else. That would be pretty nice. Now, with that one mil emblem, I'm just going to chuck that in the bank. Like so. But I'm also going to do this. And the reason is... One billion GP. We are the first ever extreme one chunk billionaire. Insane. Insane. And over half of it is in, like, literal coins. Like, from these... And from the Rune and Dragon items. So, yeah. First ever old school RuneScape extreme one chunk billionaire. That billion with a B. That was a Breaking Bad quote. <laughs> I'm going to have to put that in now, otherwise that's just going to be weird. For all those wondering as well, that took 64,600. 100 revenants so i also spent a little bit of money as well maybe like 50 mil total um but yeah absolutely insane gp from that uh what does that average about 15 16 k gp per kill in terms of like stuff that i actually was able to retain and not get pk'd or lose from the buy-in for the caves that kind of thing absolutely nuts I think this guy's very likely to kill me here. He does have the agility level, although he's pathed it wrong. What a noob. See ya, bitch. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I'm like so nearly killing this guy. That's so funny. Ah, oh, easy escape on that. Easy. See ya. I literally, oh, I really wish I'd killed him. I was so close. That would have been so good. Oh, I totally missed it, but we just hit 65,000 kills. Still no mace. The driest I've ever seen is a guy called Basilgia, who you may recognize the name of because he is, I believe, either rank 1 or rank 2 on the collection log. Uh, it took him 73,000 kills to get the Vigorous Chain Mace, actually. So he went, you know, very dry on specifically the same item as me. And it took him 73,000, and this is Rank 1 Collection Log, who said in his tweet, this was the worst thing I've ever had to do. So, we're approaching the worst thing that Rank 1 Collection Log has ever had to do. So, 8, eight more, 8,000 more kills, uh, and we'll be past him, and I will officially be the driest person that I have ever seen. So, hopefully, that doesn't happen, but yeah, 65,000 kills. Just hit 25 mil range XP. That's like a proper milestone, isn't it? And definitely a milestone I never wanted to hit. So hopefully that is the last proper range level milestone. It's a big moment, but we're finally hitting one of the memes that we thought we would never ever hit. 1,000 rune plate legs in the bank. Oh, I joked about hitting that when we were around 30,000 kill count. Like, oh, yeah, there's no way we're ever going to hit 1,000 rune plate legs, man. That'd be crazy. And here we are. Crazy times. It's crazy times we live in. Levels are getting significantly rarer for us, but that is level 95 hit points. Just four to go until 99. And every single hit points level I get, I go, oh, that'll probably be the last one. And it never is. <laughs> so hopefully, for real, 95 is the last one in this chunk. But it's not the end of the world. We could roll 99 hit points at any point. It's like the skill cape in the desert. So if we get there, you know, I'll be happy that I went so dry at Revenants in a weird way. So hopefully it's over soon. But if it's not, it's not the end of the world. Oh, some guy. Look, why do they even bother? Level 68 pure. I love mm, the British Broadcasting Company. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And we just got level 106 range, which, if you're paying close attention, means that we just hit double level 99, because level 99 is uh, 13.034 KXP. Uh, so, no, hang on, 13.034 million XP, and we just hit 26.068. So... We have 99 range twice over. Exciting. Oh, saw the pink text and shat myself slightly yet again because I was typing like a fucking mug. Four mil emblem, I guess we take those. One day, one day that pink text will be the mace. It's been a while since I've had some pink text though, so I am just appreciating how nice that looks because it does look fucking nice, doesn't it? What is going on with the dragon plate legs today? Look at this. In the looting bag, two dragon plate skirts, one dragon plate legs, and we just got another dragon plate legs? That's just bizarre. Looks like someone is making a killing on the GE at the moment, because it looks like the last two uncut dragon stones that sold, sold for 57k each. So I'm sure that's adding some uh, value to my bank, because... I'm pretty sure I've got about 800 or something undercut dragon stones, so that's going to be a uh, pretty penny at the moment. I am really, really running out of food. Like I gathered quite a lot when I was at the Pyre Fiends because I I chuck it all in the looting bag. Um, but now that I'm like killing a lot more at the demons, I'm eating more, and I get too full of loot, and I just kind of eat a few before leaving. This kind of thing. I'm like actually kind of hemorrhaging and I'm really, really low. Um, so I need to either get some more somehow or just stop using it so willy-nilly. But I really hope I can get the most before I run out of this stuff because gathering more is going to be awful. Up to... Oh, God. Up... Oh God, nearly choked to death on nothing. <laughs> Up to 68,000 kill count. Ah, oh, what a boring 8,000 kills. No weapons at all in the last 8,000 kills. We obviously got that one Avarice, but still, that's a rather bleak RNG. Um, we should have been owed at least two, if not three, within that 8,000 kill count. So hopefully, we uh, we can pull one before we hit 70,000, because 70,000 is a fucking big number. Oh, another unique, another... Not Vigorous Chain Mace. They are at least slightly more common and at least slightly useful to me, so it's not entirely as maddening as getting a scepter. <sighs> oh, how many uniques is that now? Is that over 20? I think that might be over 20, or was I already over 20? I mean, that is just crazy, isn't it? Um, that that's kind of what we're talking about. Right, let's chuck that in the invent. And take a little look, shall we? Uh, eight, eight. Oh, that's 21 uniques. There we go. 21 uniques and none of them. Vigorous Chain Mace. Shall we just equip that and just use this for the rest of the trip? Sure thing. Why not? Fucking bleak. Well, I guess that's our cue to go and bank then, isn't it? Eight mil effigy just to follow up on the Avarice. That was probably... 10 15 kills afterwards so yeah i guess we uh i guess we take the big fat 8 mil stacks of gp don't we could be worse right let's chuck all this in the bank might keep using the avarice might keep not not sure some guy literally just ran in the room splashed a bind on me and that venomed me how irritating. I'm going to go all the way back to the bank because it's fucking Venom instead of Poison. Venom's such a shit PvP mechanic. In fact, it's such a shit mechanic in general. Who thought of that shit? Oh, that's nice though. We just hit 500 Dragon Long Swords. 29, well, thir over 30 mil in Elk value. That is nutty. Right, let's give this thing a go at least until someone else shows up to try and kill it. And there they are. Honestly, I don't know how they, they... They must have scouts or something, or like a Discord or... Because they're just there instantly, and they just go around the world just finding them straight away. I don't understand how, as an Iron Man, you could ever kill one of those Maledictuses. Like, honestly, I don't get it. 
Oh, a two mil emblem, the second most common thing. I think something like a one in 2.5k. I guess we take those, stick it in the bank, build the bank value way past a bill now, something like 1.05 bill. Uh, so we'll probably be hitting 1.1 mil before the end of the video. Not entirely sure on that. But if we do, crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. Oh, you absolutely hate to see the 500k emblems because they're exactly the same rate, something like a 1 in 5.6k, as the uh, like the big emblems, like the 8 mil and the 16 mil and that kind of thing. And they're all individually way rarer than getting a unique. So... Bit gutting, but you know we get there. Well, we uh we hopefully will get there soon. How many of those have we got? Fifteen, so not too bad. Look at that, though. Sixty-eight point three k. Surely we get this soon. Surely. Well, I guess we get another eight mil. Uh, these are coming thick and fast. That must be said. Love a bit of cash in the morning. Yeah, nice. Right, this just spawned in. Let's see how far we can get with it. Like, look at that. That can't be fucking normal. Although that guy is just a PK, so I don't think he's actually going to get on the Maledictus. Come on. We can totally do this. I don't have enough food. I feel like people normally do this with brews, and I don't have them. Uh, and there we go. Like, how does that happen every single fucking time? Let's see. I was the same fucking thing and looked up and saw the pink text and was like, oh, it must be something good. Oh, no, it never is. Oh, come on. Please, just give me some fun pink, pink text. I'll even settle for a... No, I'm not going to say I'll settle for a scepter. That would be awful. But I'll settle for a bow. That would be good. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Yeah. Postcom here, don't really know what happened. You can kind of see that I logged in, didn't, like, like PK was right there, flicked all my prayers on straight away, didn't notice that I didn't have protect item on, continued to not notice that I didn't have protect from item on, and then, yeah, we kind of get to the end here, realise a little too late, and, yeah, enjoy the live reaction. Oh, no, I just got smited by crossbow. I didn't even get smited, I just didn't put protect item on. Oh no! How did I do that? How how did I? D oh no! That is so annoying. Oh, it's not the end of the world because I've still got two of them. But oh, that's infuriating. It's because I like logged in like straight on his fucking head. Like I just oh, wh why did I go to a European world for fuck's sake? Every time. Ah, oh, that is. Fucking annoying. Ah, oh, it means I've only got two left, which is only one spare. I mean, it's not the end of the world because I do have one spare, but... Oh, that's so annoying. I think I just didn't put it on. Why did I not put it on? Oh, I could cry. I'll tell you what, though. I'm happy I'm not on my last crossbow because when I had uh, just one before... Um... That was stressful, like, knowing that if I lose it, like, it is gone. That was pretty stressful. Like, you know, I won't be able to use it anymore. That was pretty fucking stressful. So, yeah, at least I've still got a backup to this one so that, you know, I can still be a bit more relaxed in the rev coach. We're at 69,000 kill count at the moment. Well, slightly less than that, but basically 69,000. Surely we get the mace soon. Surely, I tell you what, if the next weapon I get isn't one, I'm actually just going to die. I'm just going to die. I'm so done. I'm, so, I'm like mentally checked out of the rev caves already. Just my body's here on muscle memory alone, honestly. Oh, another two mil emblem. I guess it's free money, isn't it? Can we get something else? I feel like we've been getting a lot of two mil emblems recently and I haven't got a one mil in ages oh i'm just getting so incredibly sick of this shit 69,032 kill count at the moment still no vigorous chain mace hopefully see i just look at the food stacks like oh god the restore stack is going down as well heavily at least i've got all of these that i can you know bundle together at some point 
But my god, like, the food situation is grim. Nearly at a thousand in some of the other rune stacks, though, so that's pretty cool. <sighs> yeah, I just... Oh, god, it's painful at the moment. Right, in an effort to get back into a food surplus, what I'm going to do is take way less. My thought being, if a PK gets on me straight away, I'm fucked. But if I can kind of survive like 10 or 15 kills, I'll probably fill most of this invent up with the food that's just on the floor anyway. So it'll probably be better for me in the long run. Yeah, I think, I think we'll go with this. Here we go. This is what I'm doing. Befriending PKers now that have seen my videos. Adding them to the friends list. And... Okay. Oh, God, at least he got on him and not me. <laughs> I don't know if our friend the pure is going to have much of a chance against this guy. Um, hopefully he does. His account is like absolutely stacked. He's like over 2,000 total on the account with like limited prior attack and defense. Um, so I anticipate he's probably quite good at the game. But <laughs> this guy is like in full void so just has every single possible advantage. Hopefully our boy can do it though. I might hop away just in case. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> yeah, this is the exact scenario that we want, right? So we didn't bring much food with us. We've killed a revenant and we got 14 manta ray from it. So now I can just pick all these up, fill my whole invent, and I've not, like, wasted so much food. I think this might be the bet. I'm sure that I will die at certain points just from having like not prepared correctly like 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 obviously you should bring food with you when you come to the rev caves but i think on balance the fact my food situation is so bad and my revenant ether situation is relatively good that this might be the way to actually build up the food stacks again right here we go it just spawned in can we get a kill for once no of course we fucking can't because some knobheads here within five fucking seconds this is great fun. This, I mean, this kind of feels like abuse that I can just call this guy in to take out PKs. But it is quite fun. I mean, obviously this guy's not a PK, he's just a gold farmer. You can tell the gold farmers because they're here in like weird gear, unsculled with web weavers. Um, because they're evidently mains that aren't bothered about getting the unique. So, yeah. <laughs> you are joking I didn't even notice that had happened I just got that off an imp that was an imp lol <laughs> that's very funny can we get something else Come on, that's so funny. See, it's always worth killing the imps on the way out for eight mil. Sorry? <laughs> well, that was certainly a weird way to get eight mil, but that takes us up to 11 of the eight mil emblems. For some reason, I'm getting so many of those lately. Um, God. I kind of can't believe that. That was so weird. I, I wasn't looking at it either because like normally when I'm like killing the imps and running out, I'm not particularly paying attention. So I just really wasn't looking at the screen. That's very, very funny. So the odds of getting an 8 mil emblem off an imp, which is obviously just what happened, is a 1 in 24,000. Over the whole time I've been in the Revenant Caves, including right at the very start when I was just like kind of, you know, killing what I could, I've only ever killed 431 imps and I got a 1 in 24,000. Comparing that to the Vigorous Chain Mace where I've had, uh, where the drop right here is what, 1 in 18,000, so more common than the drop we just got and i've killed oh i don't know probably forty thousand of specifically these ones why why can i get like good rng in just totally the wrong ways all the time 
Oh, 27 million range XP. Surely we're going to get the mace before 30 mil. I fucking hope we get the mace before 30 mil. I'm getting very, very bored. What is the kill count? Hold well on. Kill count is 69,330. Really getting up there now. Hopefully... Hopefully we don't get to 75,000. So the worst I've ever seen is 73,000. So if we make it past 73,000, I'm officially the worst I've ever seen. And we're getting close. So I've had a lot of people tell me that I'm going to get the mace at kill number 69,420. So I guess I'd better boot that kill up here. See if we're going to get lucky when everyone else wants it. Here we go. Are we going to hit the ultimate meme number for the mace? If we do, I'm going to shit my pants. Alas, we did not. <laughs> I, I just got another 8mm emblem. I swear that's about four of them in a row. What is going on? I think I've had three of those today. Come on, when is it going to just be like, you know, weapon, weapon, avarice, weapon, like as the drops that I get in a day? That would just be, you know, a dream. But, as I always say, we take the big emblems, they look nice on the floor, they add a lot of GP to the bank value, so, yeah, they are good to have. Look at that. Pink text, just lovely, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Look at this. As we chuck in this uh, effigy into the bank, I think that's going to take just our loot tab up to one bill. Pretty massive. I'm going away uh, this weekend. So this is kind of where I'm going to be leaving it. 1.08 a bill. Um, I'm probably still going to keep recording this video after I get back over the weekend, but this is a pretty nice way for me personally to finish before I go away. Hopefully when we get back, the mace will come sooner rather than later. Right, so I'm going to go on holiday for, what, four days. Um, I've been sat on 40 defense for a long, long time. It does save me from time to time when, like, level 124 accounts, etc. try and get on me. Um, but increasingly, I've been thinking... I might just knock out the 60 defense requirements or have it as soon as I get the mace. And also, I will have, um, you know, I, I'll have additional defense when tanking PKs, even though those top end ones can get on me more. But to be honest, they don't cause me too much trouble anyway. Like if a 124 gets on me and I've got to run like five wilderness levels, that's really not that big of a deal. The main people that get on me are the people that are like 110 combat and they're the ones that cause me a lot of issues and they're going to cause me less issues if I've got 60 defense. So what I'm going to do is in absence of being able to wield any of my good weapons, I can't even wield the dragon dagger or the dragon longsword, I'm going to take an Addy sword to uh, experiments, sit there and then like just in the like really off times. Um, when I'm on a holiday, like in the evenings and stuff, once the kids have gone to bed, I can just get some defense levels. So I'm hoping that the next clip you guys will see will be me back from holiday in four days with a decent amount of defense done. Probably not lots, but hopefully a decent amount. Ooh, well done. I do have a rune warhammer. Do you think that's more DPS than an Addy sword? Um, so 2.4 seconds and 3.6 seconds. 23 so it's mainly this oh the strength bonus is huge in comparison i'm gonna have to run a dps calc on that aren't i so the old school runescape wiki tells me that the rune warhammer is better by about um well just a few uh well 0.8 seconds according to this so let's grab our other stuff Do, does the dehyde give us slightly better defenses no, which is interesting. The room, the plate body is best. Look at that, though. We're looking stacked these days. I mean, in comparison to our range gear, it is awful. But look at that. Beastly. Oh, my God. And because we're not in the wilderness, guess what I can wear? My Amulet of Avarice, which, if you look, basically is a glory amulet. So my attack bonus, 53 crush, and my strength bonus, 62. So 53 and 62. 
suddenly 63 and 68 is being massive. Look at that. Plus 6 strength, plus 10 attack. It's actually massive for outside the wilderness where I'm not going to fucking lose it instantly. Uh, but look at that. Huge. I'm also just going to stick on my ring of wealth as well. Look at that. I mean, I don't think it's going to do anything for us the revenants, but we're not as newbie as we used to be. I mean, this used to be a med helm. These used to be like Addy legs or myth legs or something. We're coming along pretty, pretty nice. So, as it turns out, going on holiday for four days with your wife and kids isn't the best place to get a load of gain. So we only got six defense levels, all of which came last night once I got back. So I do need to get 60 defense at some point, and I'll probably just do that in the evenings when I otherwise wouldn't be playing. But, yeah, we got 46 defense. We're going to push that to 60 at some point. Fun little milestone here of... 1,000 rune plate bodies, 39 million GP if we out those one day. That is pretty crazy. You see, moments like this is where I'm going to end up regretting... Oh, fuck's sake, I didn't log out on my alternative account. That's annoying. But moments like this, 1-2-6 combat is where I'm going to end up just regretting getting defense. But I think it will help me with the like 115 combat PKs. So I still think it's probably a good idea on balance. And it also just saves me a ton of time once I complete the chunk. Um, so yeah, I think I'm probably still going to get it. But I'm glad that guy couldn't get on me. I have fucked up really badly. I brought hardly any food with me. I've got an avarice on me because I thought I'd check it out. And then this PK has got on me, like, straight away. Um, I've checked his stats. He's got 89, he's got uh, 75 agility. So if I can get over to the far side, then I should get away with it. But there's no guarantee of that. So we just need to try and hope he splashes. And he's just not, is he? Hopefully hit him a bit and that'll stop him attacking me. Come on, get to running, get to running. Oh, I can't believe I just ran into this guy straight away. Okay, looks like he might get away with it. Okay, I don't think he can do anything from here really. Yeah, I hit him too hard with my crossbow. Oh, my heart is going like crazy. This guy's killed me before. Oh, that's rough. Stop. Fuck off. Imagine if I died like that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that would have been terrible. The reason I was banking is because I didn't have a bracelet on me. Oh, okay. We got away with it. And here it is, a big milestone coming in. Not anything that we've just seen, but 70,000 revenants. We did not get it in the 60,000, so we will be going into the 70,000s at least to get the chain mace. That is absolutely nuts. Um, check out Factor 75. It's genuinely a good investment for people that game a lot and have a good and 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 don't want to waste loads of time cooking and stuff and don't want to waste loads of money on uh, takeaways. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'll give a quick shout out to the channel members of which there are some new ones. So firstly, a huge shout out to. Uh, the two new channel members who not only subscribed at the rune tier, but subscribed for 12 months of rune tier up front, uh, which is absolutely huge. And they are Cornstalk Hands and Cyanscape. So a massive thank you to them who, for doing that in the last couple of weeks. That is huge. Some sad news, which is that LS has dropped off. So we currently have no one at the LS tier. No grudge against him at all. He paid multiple hundreds of dollars for several months. So really big support of the channel. So huge to him. Um, and then the rest of the channel members who, as always, are Fontcest, Sir Yolo and Talfine at the Amethyst tier. Crito and Fireball Tech at the Rune tier. Brad Norsium 
and El Pinin and Cum Crumpet and Teeters at the Legend tier. And last but not least, all of the gold members who really kind of, you know, bread and butter of keeping the channel running and getting some cool stuff up for you guys. Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Groomsley, Grimzoso, Sanlexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Papa Brando, Squang, Olivet, Hazmat83, Nilo360, Crow Poro, Vandio Gaming, Cluey Louie, Asher Anchor, Dominic G, and Spooky Pasta. A huge thank you to absolutely everyone that becomes a member of the channel or buys some of the merch on the site. All of it is hugely appreciated. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the next video where hopefully we'll be getting the mace and moving on.